Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel and for watching these videos as always. We're back at the club today so we can check out the jetty repairs. So this is part two of that video. Um, it's completed, but I'm curious. These particular videos never seem to do well on the channel, despite the fact that I find it interesting because it's great being involved with the club. Um, but I appreciate your comments and thoughts as to why you don't find them as as interesting as some of the other videos but for me personally we have our different stresses in life so having the opportunity to be outside at weekends when I'm not doing the kids sports and stuff to come down and just work with other people in the fresh air being part of a club and getting involved is what makes it interesting as well now let's look at the jetty so here we go the jetty is finally complete Phoenix is now on her new mooring. To help spread the load of the boat across the jetty, there are three mooring points. You have this slider pole here. You've got one here where you can see the, the midship's rope on. You've got another cleat also on the boat just up here. I think you can just see under my finger. Um, and then you've got a slider pole at the end as well for the stern mooring. Since we've completed the jetty, the owner of the boat piece obviously put some other slider rubber on there just to protect the boat a little bit more as well. And I've got something similar on my mooring. I think you'll find a lot of people here, on the, even on these moorings here, they've got the same kind of things. Anything that helps takes friction and the potential damage to the rubbing strips on the boat out of it. Everyone seems to do that. Um, getting the first few pilings in is, is, is always the problem. Um, because you're having to use the crane or the digger to take the weight while you're trying to put the pilings in. <clears throat> but once we get going, it comes together reasonably quick, but it's taken a while on this one, only because of weather and tides permitting when we can go into the mud and, and complete, the, uh, complete the installation. But it's all done, and hopefully, Pete, the owner of this Powell's boat, uh, will let me do a tour of his boat because it's been in, in the club for quite a while, this boat. It's just recently changed hands, but there's a lot of work going on on this boat as well. It has a complete uh, refit inside and it's going to be getting new engines, I think, later this year. But I'm pleased it's done. It's taken two or three months, as I say. They don't usually take that long, but say the weather and the tides have been a bit hit and miss. But it never stops and we're actually working on another jetty just down there we'll have a quick look at that now the whole club is trying to reuse as much of the space as possible so we're building this jetty so the space next to it is wider because it's going to be hosting a catamaran but again if we're not doing this work then the club starts to go into a bit of a halt because you have to have a lot more finances to pay individual private contractors to come and do the work and because it's all done as a voluntary basis it gets done by people that are committed to make the club usable and better for the participants so that's it for today very brief but Again, if you've got any thoughts about whether you find these particular uh, videos interesting about the work we do down the club, happy to receive them. If you don't find it interesting, I won't film any more of them. If you do, I'll film a few more jobs that we're doing. Um, but that's it. I'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.